what's going on everybody on today's video I want to show you um, how I grow out plants on rack system 2 and I go against the grain and run the lights 24 7 so let's uh, check it out so here's rack system 2 and I'm sure as everybody knows it's a flow through system all the water comes from up top flows to the next tank and then down to the bottom my whole plan with the bottom rack was to just only have plants and use that for filtration of pulling nitrates out of the water before the water gets pumped back up through the system. And what I'm doing, if you can see right here, is I'm actually pulling moss. And I'm not exactly sure what kind of moss this is. So if anybody knows what this is, drop a comment. Um, I believe that's Christmas moss. And that's out of the OG shrimp tank and it's just taken off it's covering everything it's actually growing thicker and taller than the jungle valve so I started cutting some pieces off and transplanting it into rack system 2 um, but this tank needs a big maintenance update I might do a video on that I need to really cut this all the way down and um, let everything resettle um, it's got the java fern in the back but this christmas moss which is i'm 99 sure that's what this is because if i remember correctly i put a mat of it in there um, and it was growing real slow then all of a sudden it just boomed and took off but this tank i call it the og tank it's doing really well um, the shrimp are happy the plants are obviously happy um, i just need to get in there and propagate out that Christmas moss so the way I do that let me flip you guys around so here's what I use I use these one inch terracotta um, pots and I buy them in bulk and the reason I don't like them is that they're they got some weight to them so whenever I um, try to propagate plants out and I put them in the rack system too these help keep the plants from falling over or blowing around and I, I mean I have the plastic ones I just don't like them when I ship out my plants I like using the little pots because the next person can just drop that whole pot into their aquarium and the plants will take off from there and I'm going to show you that even the small little pots work great. So this one is just me propagating out the Christmas moss. Um, I'm just doing some testing in the middle rack. So there's one there. There's one in this one. But this is the main section where I grow the plants out. These are all anubias and they're just, they're just doing fantastic down here. I think the fact that I run this light uh you won't be able to see it very well it's just an led grow light from home depot i don't know if it was like 15 bucks or something like that um it's made for indoor plants and i just have it on a clippy guy and it runs 24 7. i never turn this light off and algae is not really an issue down here there is a mono shrimp in the lower rack system they can move tank to tank um, there's not that many there's maybe five and unfortunately there's also some snails down here they end up traveling through the overflows i think as tiny little babies and then made it all the way down and through which i don't mind snails i just don't like shipping plants that could possibly have snail eggs and people not um, expecting that or wanting the snails which i totally understand these are all ram's horns so in my opinion, it's the ones that I would want versus like the pest ones because you can always sell ram's horns off. Um, before I do sell, I bleach dip any plant just so that way it gets rid of any of the eggs and you know maybe it's less of an issue. So in this tank, I have some Crips and some Hatsia. The Hatsia is just floating. Grab it. And I just let it float and then if I want it in any of my other tanks, I can just pull out some pieces. 
Let's check out these crypts. I can grab one. Look at that guy. So if you can see it, I'm still using the rock wool that these originally came in. These are Tropica plants. These came direct from Tropica. I mean, I do have a wholesale account with them. I just did a main order and then some hot tea growing in there. But look how thick this thing has gotten. And I went back through my channel to see how long these have been in here. This rack system was being built five months ago. So these plants, I don't know the exact date I put them in here, but it's five months or less. And these things are just growing like crazy. I love the coloring on them. I love that bronze color. And look, there's roots coming out the bottom. And that's with leaving the rock wool in there. there there's no sand. There's no any kind of substrate in there. It's just literally the rock wool. And I just wanted to see if they would grow. And they are thriving. This thing is massive. And you know, there's multiple plants in here. That's just one. So my plan on these, and I'll, I'll probably have to do a, a separate video, is to propagate this out. So this one plant, um, I could probably propagate out into four or more um, other plants. So I'll have to do that. And this is running the light 24-7. I mean, gosh, I really love that color. And with those clay pots, they just sink, so I don't have to worry about them blowing over. So I guess what I'm saying is just because people tell you that you have to have a light period of eight hours a day or 10 hours a day or, or whatever it is, I feel like I busted that theory because as long as your nutrients are there, you know, this tank gets heavy nitrates because I have so many fish in this system that these plants are just thriving. So they have all the nutrients they need and I do fertilize the system. I don't do it heavily, but I do use the Nyla CG dry ferts, and, and and I'll be honest, lately I've been pretty um, lazy about fertilizing it, and it's just doing really well. So the plants have all the nutrients they need, so on top of that, they just need a lot of light. $15 light bulb, there is an aqua neat um, right here, and honestly, it's not on my Wi-Fi system, so I forget to turn that thing on. This thing is just plugged directly into the wall, so it runs 24-7. And they're just doing great. Let's grab one of the Nubius out. So the Nubius, they are a rhizome. And the same thing, it's in the rock wool. And look at this thing go. It's sending off the rhizome that way and this way. She just looks great. I mean, there's some some issues right here, but overall, she's growing. A little yellow. I mean, that could be this this leaf's buried under this one. Um, if I add some fertilizers, if I get back on a good schedule, you know that that one will probably recover. This leaf, I don't know, but look at that thing go. So this can easily be split. Um, if I were to sell this as a large plant, there's definitely two here, or I can split this. I like to have at least four of the runners, the stalks, um, so I would cut between the nodes of every fourth um, stem, I guess. Oh, that pot fell over, probably because of that air stone. But 24 hours of lights, guys, like, test test your systems out. Just because the internet says you can't do it doesn't mean you can't. I'm doing it 24 hours a day. Currently no fertilizers, but I might need to to supplement these guys a little bit. And everything's just thriving. So here, here's a good comparison. So you see these plants. These are as tall as the tank. These Anubias are the same as the ones that are below. They came in the same shipment. The difference is, and you can see they're not as tall. They're not as tall as the tank. This is a, a Fluval 3.0, but it's on a schedule. It doesn't run all day long. 
And so there's two things going on with this. One, their lighting period is shorter than this period because this one runs 24 seven. But the other thing is this nutrients, it's only getting nutrients from the tank above where these are getting the nutrients from all the tanks because the, the flow through system goes zigzags through each tank. And I did, I did get the emergency overflows in and it's working, but the problem is I still need to upgrade this three quarter to the two inch line because now the water is just basically bypassing the zigzag and it's as these fill up, it's just topping off each tank. So I'm getting water down here without going through all the plants. So I need to, I just gotta do it. I gotta do the two inch upgrade. But I have to drain the lower racks out and drill them. And honestly, I wanna have a couple spare 20 gallon longs on hand before I do that. Just in case a tank breaks, I don't have to stop what I'm doing and go find a new tank and redrill it. I wanna have a couple on hand just in case. But yeah, I just just want to show you guys. It's working. I don't know really where else to go with this video other than my point is to really go against what people are telling you. Just because the internet says it doesn't mean it's true. That something might work for one person, might work differently for somebody else. I've heard from Aquarium Co-op that... Corey doesn't really like sand because plants don't really grow in it. I have the exact opposite effect. All my tanks out here are sand substrate. It's just pool filter sand. And I did that because originally I liked the look of the sand and it was cheap compared to buying gravel. And I've had nothing but excellent results. So, like I said, just because somebody tells you how it should or shouldn't work doesn't mean that's how it works. So try it for yourself experiment because I think that's one of the good things about this hobby is that due to all different kinds of parameters in your water and your temperatures like you might have a completely opposite result of what somebody else will have so just get out there experiment mess around see what you can find you'll fail I failed um, many of times but it's a learning experience and it's fun at the same time so play with your light schedules if your nutrients are are there run your lights a little bit longer and see how things go and if you start having problems you can always dial it back but um check out nilo cg for dry furts um if you want any of his liquid furts you can get those actually through me at 614fish.com there's the product placement but um experiment test it out see what you guys come up with drop a comment and let me know how long you're running your lights for on your fish tank and let me know what kind of plants you have I, i'm this is the first time i've messed with crypts and to be honest i didn't really like the look of them when i saw them online um i don't know what it was i just i wasn't a fan of them and now that they're growing out and i get these these bronze colors and like the brownish like it's i really like them and um yeah, so I'm, I'm excited to propagate those out further and just see how much I can grow, especially in a short amount of time for Anubius. Like Anubius grows slow. I have Anubius in my house and those tanks, are they don't have that, that best of a lighting, so they don't grow super fast. So testing it, $15 light, 24 hours a day with enough nutrients. Oh, so let, let's talk about that real quick. So I run Eheim Automatic Fish Feeders. Corey came out with this and I sell products online on my website and that's what Aquarium Co-op does. It doesn't mean I don't want to try out what's new, what's the hotness, and maybe I'll do a review on this. I've been running this since the day it dropped to members only. I am a member for Corey. I do support him. He's given me a ton of knowledge into building my fish room and all, all the stuff that goes along with it. But I have been running this. It's been definitely a week or two now. 
and mostly positive there's some negatives and I'll, I'll do a video about it but so far thumbs up he did a good job with it I I don't want to go too much into it I'll do a video on that all right guys it wouldn't be a video if I didn't get Charlotte and Havana in it they are in the middle of their playtime right now it seems of course when I'm trying to record but thank you so much for watching. I'm going to drop a video outro right after this. Um, just something I had done. I didn't want to put it as an intro because I guess most people like getting right into the video. So stay on until the end and let me know what you thought about the video um, outro. I have a few different versions of it and I went with the one I like the most. And I think I'll just start uh, putting, look, look at this. lazy bums but uh let me know what you think of the video outro and until next time guys thank you so much for watching